Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about an insane storm that's coming to the United States that's going to bring a lot of problems. Beginning tomorrow, we'll be watching for the threat of significant tornadoes in parts of the Southeast United States. On the flip side of things, there will be a growing winter storm that will bring a lot of snow and travel impacts to the Central Plains, the Midwest, and perhaps parts of the Northern Ohio Valley. Additionally, an Arctic blast will be coming to the United States as we head into mid-January. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, and let's begin with what's happening right now in the United States, and we'll begin with the Central Plains, and this is right now where the winter storm is beginning to develop. Now, we don't yet have really much snow out of this. The only snow that's ongoing is back over in the Rocky Mountains, but our low pressure system is basically over Colorado right now, and over the next 24 hours, this will slowly shift into areas like Kansas and eventually going into Missouri and what's going to end up happening is that this is going to grow in size pretty quickly with strong southerly winds that'll lead to a lot of moisture in addition to this we'll be watching for some showers and storms right along the Gulf Coast to produce some severe weather during the afternoon and evening tomorrow so basically a dual threat of weather will be coming here to the United States out of this one particular storm notice there is a lot of moisture streaming out of the Gulf of Mexico again none of this is really associated with severe weather today but that will obviously keep areas in the southeast cooler due to all that cloud cover and it's also keeping areas like florida much more humid today now back up to the northeast i did want to mention this that we do still have our winter storm ongoing in new england most of the snow is beginning beginning to dwindle down a lot of it's light snow now or some snow flurries we've had a lot of periods of heavy snow today and there's been some areas near 10 to 12 inches of snow in new england so again the forecast is pretty close to what was expected to happen today across the new england area and as well as much of the northeast all right i do want to mention as we go into the next few days that this storm is going to produce a lot of impacts and one of the impacts that you might not realize that will end up happening are the wind speeds the wind gusts are going to be crazy as we go into monday into tuesday this storm is just going to be so large it's going to cause a lot of problems including very high wind speeds this all begins tomorrow night by the way in the central and southern plains with widespread wind gusts around 40 50 even 60 miles per hour over in parts of the central and southern plains key thing to note as well there will be snow in the texas panhandle as we go into tomorrow night and as well as in southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, the wind gusts will be high enough to the point where we will have blizzard warnings in effect for these areas. It already has been issued, but there will be blizzard-like conditions in those areas, so traveling is not advised with this sort of setup. And then as we go along into Tuesday afternoon and evening, that wind threat will start to shift off to the east, right along the east coast, where some wind gusts could get upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour if you're right along the beaches. But more inland, widespread wind gusts around 50 to 60 miles per hour are going to be possible. And even behind this low pressure, system still 35 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts across much of the midwest and as well as the mississippi valley so make sure that you are ready for this and that wind threat will start to move into parts of southern and eastern new england as we go into wednesday where some areas right along the immediate coastline could still get upwards of 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts make sure you hatch down your trampolines as flying trampolines are definitely possible as we go into tossing trampolines on tall trees tuesday all right let's talk more about the watches and warnings across the united states discuss more about that winter storm and the severe weather threat and obviously we have a lot of watches and warnings in effect you might notice almost the entire map right now is covered in various colors which all represent different watches and warnings we have wind advisories in effect in these tan boxes for much of texas back into parts of the dixie alley notice the blizzard warnings that's those red boxes including five different states oklahoma kansas texas new mexico and as well as colorado not a huge area by any means but it is definitely going to be impacting these areas with high wind speeds upwards of three to six inches of snow that'll lead to blizzard conditions expected in those areas throughout the day tomorrow and as well as Tuesday morning. Winter storm warnings in effect all across the pink boxes, which goes all the way back up into Iowa, and as well as winter storm watches in effect for parts of the Midwest. Key thing here is that Chicago is currently not included in the winter storm watches. That is because there might not be a whole lot of snow in your area, but it's going to be a close call, and I'll be discussing on what that means here in just a minute, because there actually could be some snow there that might be impactful, but there also is a chance that there's really not much of anything. All right, let's talk more about the timing with this winter storm, the severe weather threat, basically breaking down the main two components of the this large storm beginning with monday morning snow will be falling across parts of the central plains also severe weather will start to ramp up as we go into monday afternoon across texas louisiana back into alabama and mississippi notice this winter storm will bring moderate to heavy snowfall across the central plains and the midwest as we go into monday evening and then as we go 
into Tuesday morning, that snow will move into the Midwest. Parts of the northern Ohio Valley, like Indiana and Ohio, will have a shot of some snow. It will probably not be much because a lot of that will transition into rain as warm air advection starts to usher in. So notice all that warm air advection. So it's going to be translating basically from a little bit of snow initially in the morning to mostly rainfall during the afternoon. So if you're in Ohio or Indiana, I wouldn't be getting your hopes up on a lot of snow out of this particular event. Again, notice showers and storms in the southeast. Severe weather will come out of that as we go throughout the day Tuesday as well with tornadoes and damaging winds being possible. More specific details on that here in just a few minutes. Once we go into Tuesday evening, snow continues to fall across the Midwest. And as we go into Wednesday, this threat will start to shift into Canada with a little clipper system, bringing a little bit more flurries, maybe a, maybe an additional inch of snow to parts of the Midwest going into Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And by Friday into Saturday, we'll have to watch our next large storm that will likely impact the United States along with an Arctic blast behind this. We'll be watching for another chance of snow. Where exactly does the snowfall? It's a big question. Again, the European model has brought this anywhere from the East Coast for snowfall all the way up here now to the Midwest. It's been moving a lot over the past 48 hours, so I wouldn't really get your hopes up on this if you're looking forward to more snowfall if you're back over in the Midwest, but it is going to be something to watch for as we get closer to next weekend. We'll have a more detailed forecast on that, and once we get past this first large winter storm. Here's the timing with this winter storm beginning with the central plains again notice most of that snow will ramp up during the morning hours this is 7 a.m. tomorrow notice moderate to heavy snowfall can be ongoing across Kansas that'll start to ramp up across southwest Kansas Oklahoma and maybe even the Texas Panhandle that'll lead to some blizzard like conditions once we go into overnight Monday night and Tuesday morning most of that snowfall will move into Missouri Iowa and as well as eastern Nebraska where snow will continue there light snow remains as we get closer to lunchtime on Tuesday in northern Missouri then that eventually moves out in terms of snowfall accumulation the hrr model has been going crazy with the snowfall totals i don't expect a widespread 12 to 15 inches of snow in fact i think most areas in the shaded area that i just outlined so anywhere in that black outlined area i think most of these areas will see between four to eight inches of snow with an isolated few locations seeing around 10 to 12 inches i don't think we're going to see a widespread 12 to 15 inches of snow across nebraska though it's entirely possible i think that's really high-end scenario at this point with this particular storm now, for the Midwest, we'll be watching for snow entering the area as we go into Tuesday morning. This will really impact areas in Indiana and Ohio the most during the early morning hours. But again, that snow will transition right into rain. So any snow that accumulates in the Ohio Valley, it's going to be a slushy snow. Once we go into Tuesday afternoon, heavy snow will start to fall in parts of northern Michigan and as well as the Midwest, where snowfall accumulations will start to ramp up quite quickly. And again, the Chicago area will be right on the cusp of whether you see maybe a few inches of snow or maybe like an inch or less of snow. That's really what we're at at this point. In terms of snowfall accumulation, the wrap model is indicating that we'll have a widespread four to eight inches of snow. Again, in southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, back through Iowa, those will be the main areas to watch for, and as well as northern Missouri. I do think a lot of areas in northern Missouri will be somewhere around four to eight inches of snow. And then back over here near the Chicago area, again, you might see one to three inches of snow. You also could see upwards of four to six inches of snow. It just kind of depends on how warm it is in those, that area, particularly as we go into Tuesday. I think it's going to be a pretty close call overall and again i don't think we're really going to see this much snow accumulation in northern indiana and even if we do it's going to melt very quickly especially with that rain transition that's expected now let's talk more about that severe weather potential as we go into monday into tuesday for tomorrow there is an enhanced risk of severe weather for louisiana southern mississippi southern alabama and a small sliver of the florida panhandle this is the area that we're watching for for a few strong tornadoes so make sure you have a tornado action plan in place if you're anywhere in the shaded areas especially in southeast Texas back into Louisiana and all the way through the Florida Panhandle. As we go into tossing trampolines on Tacos Tuesday, we do have a slight risk of severe weather for much of the southeast. There has been an upgrade. There is actually is an enhanced risk of severe weather for a small area here that I just outlined. So very far southwestern Georgia and parts of the Florida Panhandle. That's mainly for damaging winds in a couple of tornadoes. And again, this entire area, the main concerns are damaging winds in a few tornadoes. That'll be the main concern overall. Very dynamic setup. Again, we have a very strong low-level jet both tomorrow and Tuesday. Tuesday. This will increase the rotation in the lower levels, leading to a little bit of a higher risk of tornadoes overall for those along the Gulf Coast and as well as the Southeast United States. Now, in terms of the timing, we'll be watching for storms to develop during the early to mid-afternoon hours right along the parts of southeastern Louisiana. These ones that are coming right off the coast going south to north will be the main ones to produce a few tornadoes. We'll be watching for that threat as well back over in southern Alabama and southern, or really the Panhandle, Florida, I should say, as we go into two, Monday evening, and this will be the area to watch for for 
a few tornadoes as well i think the threat of tornadoes in parts of florida will not really exist until as we go after sunset so that'll be the main concern there same thing with southern alabama and then this will eventually turn into a line of storms as we go into tuesday morning this will lead to more of a damaging wind threat overall but there could still be a few embedded tornadoes with this as it moves to the east and this will obviously produce some scattered to maybe even numerous damaging winds as we go into tuesday so make sure that you are hatching down your trampolines if you're anywhere in the southeast united states out of this particular event now, i do want to mention there's an arctic blast coming i had a full forecast on this this morning so i'm not really going to dive too much in the specific details in this forecast if you wanted more details watch my forecast from this morning but notice again we're gonna have an arctic blast as we go into the tail end of this week friday into saturday will be the time frame to watch for for some colder air upwards of 50 degrees below normal back over in the pacific northwest on saturday this will likely crash into a much larger part of the united states as we go into tuesday and even wednesday of the following week so make sure you're staying tuned subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest on this event as well thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already